What's up dude, Kyron Dubro here with a Astroff tutorial on how to deal with Astroff's grabs in Soul Calibur. Now I also want to mention that none of this is guaranteed because they can mix you up heavy with these. And it all comes with a, either a good guess, positioning, and character habits. Some of them have the weaknesses which you will go through. But in general, I'm just here to walk you guys through this. So let's begin with this. So for starters, Astroff has a move called what was it vicious madness i believe yeah vicious madness and this move is a high now what people get bothered by this move is because of the fact that it has armor it blocks through two attacks only only two attacks uh usually people get hit and then bam that happens like oh snap let me hit him with that Ooh. Um, what's interesting enough is the move is a high, so it can be ducked if you see it. And to deal with it, if you're feeling rather risky, you can always stuff it with moves that has two strings to it. So that's that. Um, the other version of that is the backwards one. Oh wait, I almost forgot something. So this move is considered a forward grab. In Soul Calibur, they changed the word to escape grabs, you have to have to push forward or back in any button except block. So, to escape this move, you have to push forward any button. As you see, the game even lets you know, for front escape. So don't hold back when you're, pushing, when you're trying to escape this, if you feel the opponent is going to do it. That applies to the other move he has, which is the opposite, uh, Underworld Pool. Oh, that's the wrong move. Not Underworld Pool. What is it? Uh, Cursed... Cursed Earth? Yeah, Cursed Earth. You have to hit Back Escape. So it's Back A or Back B, Back C, any of those moves. Uh, and it also has the same thing. It's a high. And also you can stuff it with two moves. So that's interesting enough that you can deal with that move. Now, Astrop also has two... Crouching command grabs you have to deal with. So, for example, this one's called Underworld Pool. Um, I believe this is a 6 6 grab. You hit 6 6 grab and you hold down, alright? So, to deal with this move, first of all, don't duck. And second of all, it will lose if you're standing. So you can just definitely punish that. Just, just do whatever you want at that point. The problem with this move is once you take an accountability with Astroff's other grabs, you ask yourself, Jesus, what am I going to do? Well, with this one, you have to break it with the front grab. And he has another one. Uh, what's it called? Uproot? Yeah, uproot. This move, just like the other ones, you have to hit back escape. And one of the problems that people face with Astral grabs is literally all of them. Every last one, the four that you just seen, they all have the same startup animation. So you have to guess and commit to either to standing block or a crouch and then move forward or back. I do the backwards. But you get what I mean. That's that's the mix-up. Um, it's ridiculous. Astral's core circle forward grab, which is called Titan Bomb. This move right here, just like the other ones. Um, it's a high, so it can be ducked, and it can be forward escape. He has an alternative version, which is called uh, Flight of the Wicked. This one, you have to hit back, and it is, like the other one, is also a high. Now, he has two more grabs when you're crouching. Jesus, that should have a lot of grabs. So, uh, Belgian Crush, which is down grab. I think it's down grab. This is down grab. Alright. This move, you can't be crouching, which is obvious. But this, you have to be... Uh, you have to push forward and any button to escape it. 
But as we all know, if you're standing, you'll whiff. Then the other version, which is a uh, drop of lava, this one you have to hit back. Now Ashroff does have an widely interesting grab right here. So this grab is a crouching grab. Unlike the ones I mentioned before, this one is unbreakable. What the hell was that? That was funny. Well, I thought I tried to do it again, but this is unescapable. I just see my commands on the command list. Hear me trying to do it back, and me trying to do it forward. Unescapable. The only way you'll be able to see this move coming is his animation. It's rather different from the other moves. So you're gonna have to do a very fast wall rising kick to stomp it. Something that's like 12 frames or something. To stomp it. Nothing, I won't recommend anything lower than that. Cause here I am trying to do Horizon B, and it's startup is what 16 frames? Yeah, 16 frames, and it just loses to it. So I highly recommend something that's like 12 frames. That gets the job done. Now another interesting thing is even if Astroff is in Soul Charge and does the same grabs, they're all breakable, which I find a little funny. It'd have been cheap and broken if it was unbreakable. But yeah, just want to say that they're all breakable so I won't even have to go through that. So interesting enough, Astroff's back grab, uh, this. there we go. His back grab right here normally is unescapable. Back grabs in this game are normally unescapable. But only, only Astroff himself and Valdo are, un are able to break the grab. See that? Insane, isn't it? Um, but that's it. That's all I can tell you. I won't go through the the aerial grabs because those are, you know, virtually unescapable. Um, I really hope that this really helped you guys out. Uh, been having a really tough time making videos lately, so if this helped you out, please subscribe to the channel. I make more Soul Calibur content weekly. I'm trying to make it daily. Um, if there's any requests of a character or whatever you want to make, I will make it. We'll soon be doing uh, character analysis, not character, match analysis. Uh, I want to start off with uh, Link Chords, I think his name is, versus Sonic Fox. Uh, I think that would be really interesting to, to analyze, analyze, to talk about. But anywho, uh, Kyron Dude Bro out, and I see you guys next time. Enjoy.